Welcome to our lesson on human defence systems and vaccination. The key questions for today are: one, how does the human body defend itself from pathogens? Two, what is the difference between a physical defence and a chemical defence? Three, what is an immune response? Four, what is a vaccination? Five, how do vaccinations work? The key words you'll need to know are barrier, pathogen, mucus, phagocyte, lymphocyte. The human body can defend itself against pathogens. There are non-specific defences that prevent a pathogen entering the body. This can be done in several ways. Task: Make a table to summarize the ways the body can stop pathogens from entering. The body's first defense is the skin, a waterproof covering over nearly the whole body. This provides a physical barrier that prevents pathogens from entering. Most pathogens cannot penetrate the skin. When a break in the skin occurs, scabs form over the gap and protect the body. The skin also secretes oils, chemicals, and sweat that can inhibit or kill pathogens. Where there is an opening to the body, there are other defences. Tears produced in the eyes contain lysosomes. These break down pathogens. The nose produces mucus and has lots of small hairs that catch and then trap pathogens. The trachea and bronchi, that are the airways to the lungs, contain ciliated cells which waft mucus up the throat so that pathogens are trapped and then move to where they can be swallowed. Pathogens that enter the stomach are killed by the presence of hydrochloric acid and broken down by protease enzymes. All of these defences help to prevent the entry of a pathogen into the body. However, sometimes pathogens do get past. Once they are inside the body, a pathogen causes an immune response from the body. This is the activation of the immune system. The immune system includes the white blood cells. There are different types of white blood cell that respond to pathogens in different ways. Phagocytes engulf and digest pathogens. They extend their cell membrane to cover the pathogen and then break it down using enzymes. This process is called phagocytosis. Lymphocytes produce antitoxins and antibodies. Antitoxins neutralize poisons such as those secreted by bacteria. Antibodies attach to the antigens present on the surface of a pathogen. This prevents them from entering cells and immobilizes them. This also allows the phagocytes to then engulf and destroy the pathogen. Antibodies can cause pathogens such as viruses to stick together. This prevents them from invading cells and reproducing. Memory lymphocytes will recognize a familiar pathogen and produce the specific antibodies required to fit the antigens. Task: Explain how the body defends itself against an airborne virus. An airborne virus would not be able to enter the body through the skin, as this tough waterproof layer is not penetrable. Any virus that is inhaled would be trapped by tiny hairs and mucus, which would cause it to be expelled from the body or swallowed. If swallowed, the hydrochloric acid in the stomach would kill the virus, and protease enzymes would break it down. If a virus was able to enter the blood, the white blood cells would attack it. 
lymphocytes would produce antibodies and cause the viruses to stick together, and the phagocytes would engulf and digest the viruses. Extension. How do lymphocytes help to protect the body from the effects of a bacterial infection? Lymphocytes produce antitoxins, which neutralise the poisons produced by bacteria. Vaccinations can be given to people to prevent them from developing certain diseases. Vaccines help the body to respond quickly to a pathogen before the person becomes ill. A vaccine contains a dead or inactive form of a pathogen. It's injected into the body and stimulates the immune response. White blood cells are stimulated to respond to the pathogen as if the person has actually caught the disease. The lymphocytes produce antibodies and the phagocytes engulf and digest the pathogen. The memory lymphocytes will remember the specific antibody required for the pathogen. So if the same pathogen is detected again, the white blood cells will produce the correct antibody straight away, immobilising the pathogen before it can cause the person to become ill. This will also prevent the pathogen from reproducing and spreading into other cells, preventing illness. Vaccination programmes are used across the world to protect people from common and deadly diseases. Task. Answer the following AQA exam question. Read the following passage. A. People infected with a small number of TB bacteria often do not develop the disease. Explain as fully as you can how the body defends itself against the TB bacteria. Extension B. The BCG vaccine contains a mild form of the TB bacterium. A person injected with it does not develop the disease. Explain as fully as you can how the vaccine makes the person immune to tuberculosis. C. Explain why the BCG vaccine is not effective as a cure for people who already have tuberculosis. And here are the answers. A. White blood cells ingest bacteria, produce antibodies and antitoxins, which counteract poisons produced by bacteria. B. Dead or weakened pathogen injected into the body stimulates antibody production, so white cells can quickly produce these again. C. The vaccine would add more bacteria, although weaker. <laughs>